Hey, what's up guys? Happy to see you. I love that you take the time to listen and learn from us. The topic of conversation is HMB, and this is a supplement that is a metabolite of leucine. And um, I actually get this question a lot. And my answer is why supplement with HMB? I haven't seen convincing data. Um, and Don, I'm curious as if you have on the usage of HMB, why someone would use HMB as a metabolite of leucine versus just using leucine or a whole protein themselves. Yeah, the the original the original data about HMB, as you say, it's a metabolite of leucine, and it's about one sixtieth of leucine ends up as HMB. So it's not a metabolite that is sort of natural. You can't naturally give protein and get enough HMB to have an impact. The original Wait, explain research. That. That's interesting. What do you mean? You can't actually so enough. So um, I'm so for about you know, and I again I don't have the numbers right on top of my head, but um, so I'll make this up. Okay. Um, for if you have um, ten molecules of leucine, about one of those is going to end up as HMB. So it's a very small conversion toward it. And the reality is you can't eat enough leucine to ever make HMB important. So the important thing there is HMB is not physiologically relevant. Right. Okay, so it's not a normal metabolite. Uh, from there, we can go and look at what people have done. And Steve Nissen was the person who originally sort of discovered it and studied it. And he said that HMB would reduce protein breakdown. Uh, and therefore the idea was that would help spare muscle mass. My problem with that on the surface is that the purpose of muscle protein breakdown is to get rid of abnormal proteins. And so I can't for the life of me understand why you'd ever want to use it if that's what it does. Uh, Procter and Gamble, I'm sorry, uh, uh, Ross Laboratory, Abbott Laboratory bought the rights to HMB uh, and they have it in some of their products. And when I've asked their people about it uh, to break, you know, affecting breakdown, they immediately skirt the question and say, well, it also affects synthesis. Well, what we know to your original point is leucine is far more effective right. at affecting synthesis than HMB and a whole lot less expensive. So why in the world would you ever use it? And there've been a number of people like Stu Phillips uh, and, and other individuals who have studied HMB and they find no long-term effects of using it. So I am totally negative about it. Uh, I see no data out there to convince me that it's viable. And the arguments for what it does actually, I think, are probably negative. Mm. Uh, affecting breakdown, I think, would be probably the worst thing you could actually do long term. So that's interesting. So the concept of using HMB may not be beneficial and certainly is uh, not helpful or necessarily relevant. Yeah, I, I see no advantage over just using natural totally amino agree. acids, just having a higher protein diet or having branched chain amino acid supplements, paying the extra to get HMB to me, I just find to be a, an absolutely ridiculous choice. I mean, it's a nice sales gimmick, but uh, it has no real effect that I can see. I'm curious as to where that that came from, where the concept and the idea of, of using HMB originated? Well, it was clearly from Steve Nissen. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, you know, like I said, Abbott invested in it. Uh, and so they had some research done and they tried to sure. uh, get individuals to, to support it. But people who uh, have gone on to further research it, nobody has found any long-term benefit of it. Yeah. So I, I just don't, I don't see any benefit. So you guys, there you have it, HMB, should you use it? Um, and I think I remember I sent you a, a recent study that somebody had sent me about the use of HMB. Um, I don't know if you remember that. I, I can include it, but you were very underwhelmed. Underwhelmed. You were underwhelmed with the data. A lot of those studies have really odd controls. 
Um, you know, one of my favorite, one of my favorite uh, sort of ideas or, or concepts in nutrition is if you create bad enough controls, you can show almost any effect you want. And a lot of studies have right. really awful controls. Right. Outrageous. All right, guys. Um, I hope that cleared up any question you have and a little bit about the history of HMB. Use your protein, use your branched chain amino acids, but perhaps avoid the metabolite. No reason. If you like this video, like it, share it. Um, if you have any comments or questions, please, you can message them below and I do try to answer all of them. So thank you again. I know how valuable your time is.